Welcome back, Hunters. I'm the Survival Abyss, and we return to Monster Hunter Rise Sunray. Last episode, we took down the Shogun Senator, and we're going to see about tackling a few of these other monsters we have available right now. I'm actually kind of surprised they are where they are for, like, a quest rank, considering how they were in low and high rank, but with these being our options, we might as well go after them. And yeah, we've already stocked everything up there, so that's good. So the ones we have to go after are Almadron, although I might save that till I get the Pierce, like the Shogun Senator, I farm that and get that armor. A Berioth, and a Goss Harag. I'm really tempted to lean. Berioth or Goss? Berioth or Goss? You know, I'm going to go for Berioth first. That way we can kind of wet our teeth a little bit on that, see how we're doing, and see why these two, which honestly seem like an odd mix to have the same rank. Berioth has always been a bit earlier to hunt than Goss, so I don't know if it's just that, like, Goss is as slow as he is, he's a little easier to manage, or Berioth is just more hyper and aggressive. We'll have to see how this will go, and also we get more time exploring the Citadel. Because we haven't seen that much of the snow area on this map. I tried to take us through, I guess, like, the old castle grounds to the east. And, god, there's, like, a lot to the west still as well. And the gown goats we can just leave alone. Although I do want to just... Okay, don't think there's any spear birds in these little patches. Yeah, it seems to be the bigger ones that they'll hide in. Oh, you know what? I should... God, one thing I kind of forget is that you can go almost anywhere you see on maps, too. Oh, hello. What are you? Stately storage box. Oh, account items. Okay. I got tableware. We found forks, knives, and plates, I guess. Oh, I could see, like, a relic record being somewhere down one of these streams. There's a little cave you go into. But for now, let's just work our way more into parts of the Citadel we've not seen yet. I I don't know if Garen... Yeah, no, Garen Golem will get angry at us if he does pick us up, so... Which I don't know if he has, or he's just pissed off at the Nahabra, or Vespoids. I mean, I don't blame him. Vespoids piss every hunter off, even the monsters, it seems now. Well, there's a few boggy, and this is... Oh no, we can't go in through that, I just saw. It looks like we could have just hopped over the fence there, but I guess that's like a monster travel cave. Yeah, and there's something tucked off right to the south, ways off the map. Or, well, the usual paths of the map, I see. I think that'll be worth going down investigating. And one of the things I want to check about this spot was that head motif. That really looks like almost Viking Longhouse to me. Like, oh, can we really not just get up where he was? Okay. Yeah, this... So, I don't know if there might be, like, some viking theme stuff further in with certain armors or what, but... I don't know, to me that just really sc ah, screamed out viking norse theme. And now I think that would be kind of cool to have in Monster Hunter is almost like a coastal norse village. Could be a way to bring underwater combat back, too. But, just an idea that came to mind. Oh no, we were down there. Okay, I guess we just had to be at a certain spot to open up the map like that. Gotcha. I guess we might as well head straight up for Berioth. We do have a bit more health now for finding the Spear of Birds. And this is the edge of his Frosty Kingdom. Actually, he looks like he might be a bit of a big one. What? I don't know what, like, flinched me out of that. 
because, like, for whatever reason... Okay, he does hit pretty hard, though. Okay, well that, I know what hit me there. So he's got a new tail slam attack. I actually meant for that to be the swap switch skill, but I think it actually saved me for, uh... Ow. Yeah, that hits pretty good. And it covers a wide area, so I gotta be careful with how close I'm getting to him. Okay, I'm kind of seeing why they might have put Barry off now with Boss Rag. Oh, God, I don't know if he's just that big that I'm getting hit by so much, or that this is a bit of a tighter area. Let's get up to top their max health again. Okay, yeah, so I've got to really dodge to the sides when he's going to do that slam. You can't go backwards on it, because he's just going to hit you with it. Thanks, buddy. Case in point. I keep trying to dodge back out of it, but that's a no-no. I do like that you used the paratoad, but I hate that your aim was so bad. Because that would have been really nice to help here. You know what, Blast Toad? Let's see if you'll work before he, uh... There we go. You know what, let's see if we can even work at breaking uh, one of the wings, too. Okay, not quite, but at least we done a little bit of damage. I think once we can break those, the mobility of him is going to really decrease, and that'll make him a much easier foe to fight. But yeah, that area is a little... Actually, a lot of these areas are kind of tight compared to some of the other parts. What is he up to? He's doing a lot of hip and hopping. Now he's a little hard to keep track of when he really starts moving around with a lot of the hopping. Ooh, 
Ooh, there we go, that was nice. Punched him out of it. I think I might have avoided it, even if it went through. Okay, that's gonna help a lot. And now, we're going to see how he does up against Garengolm. And this might even be a good way of getting that picture I need, too. There's a smack between. And let's see what Garen Golem can do. We do have the uh, Ruby Wire Bug active too. Okay, so let's see the Mountain Punisher in action. I feel like there's more, yeah, there is more coming. Okay, so you have to get Garen Golem enraged in order to get his uh, elemental arms out, I think. Ah, shoot, that would have been a perfect drop if it was a little, oh! Well, thank you, Flash Bombay. Flash Bombay. Okay, I think that's on his other uh, wing we still need to break. Nope, we're going to be kind of going back and forth a bit. Oh, and there's another thing. I gotta admit, they definitely, this feels closer to like uh, Iceborne Barry off when he just became a wall in that game. And I think once I can break the uh, other wing of his, which is right now, yeah, let's swap back to using the, uh, this. Get us out of that. Oh, come on, just... Oh, I thought I had hit that way earlier. I guess if I want to get, like, that kind of endemic life boost, I should just try mailing it with the bow gun. No, oh, I think I'm all out of my uh, first aid med pluses because of how much he's been beating us down. And that's pretty rare so far in the series. We haven't had a monster be like that dangerous up until this point. No, I'm actually... God, remember, his tail has a long reach all the way around his face. Although I think we're still doing pretty well, but the different like parts of the map do have pretty different feels. Like the ice area feels much more claustrophobic and tight compared to uh, the swamp and foresty parts Garengolm has, and even to Malzino's areas, like the castle here. Oh, that was kind of close. Now, 
Oh man, I keep whiffing with that. And it still has such a good reach for like around itself too. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to get a slicing passy bowgun again with good normal rapid fire. Okay, it's probably going to go and try to get some food. Oh, poor gown goats on the menu. Good. Now, why did you spin around like that? Uh, well, I think we flinched out of eating, so it's still going to have low stamina. Although, with it going in rage, that kind of moots that point pretty quick, don't it? <laughs> Let's give you a few things to smack into. Oh, what knocked you down? Was it the silk mine? No, I don't think so, because I don't see the little wires on the ground. Oh, yeah, see, that one... It seems to have such a wide... Oh, hi, Garngolm! Uh, I guess you're back, eh? You want to beat the crap out of each other for a little bit? Oh, another... Got a Kittenator out of this one. Come on, fire! Fire! It's heads right there! Oh, you suck. Really? That was like perfectly lined up. Ooh. I think the iframes got us through that one. I got a hand to bury off. He's turned into a much more difficult fight than his uh, previous ranks. And I'm for it. Well, except for maybe that attack, because that one seems to just have ridiculous reach and sweep range. Oh, and I keep whiffing all these. There we go. That actually might be a pretty good uh, end screen, staring right down on them. But yeah, they've definitely toughened him up for G rank, and I am for it. He feels much more in line to his previous Iceborne incarnation, where it will, could be a wall for a lot of hunters. He would hit so hard, have a lot of movement, but he still holds true to the old uh, philosophy of how to hunt him break the wings to weaken the amount of mobility he has, and that gives you a lot of openings to strike back and retaliate. Would have liked to get the tail off, but again, I'm probably going to need to get a bow gun that has uh, ba -da -ba -da -da -ba -da 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 slicing ammo capacity for it. Just because, like, as nice as the sliding burst is, it can be pretty easy to whiff. Or, if you're not skilled with it, it's pretty easy to whiff like I do. There we go. Another monster hunted. All we need is one more or one more of the key quests, and then we'll see what the urgent is. There we go. Quest complete. What do we got material-wise? Ooh, a lar another large wyvern gem. Quite a few great spikes. A couple of cortexes or so. A hard claw and amber fang. 
And is that another Amber Fang? It is. That's nice to get. Yeah, so we'll see what the armor looks like. It... I think it should actually be like the older style of Baryoth G-Rank armor. Like, Iceborne actually used the high rank look of it. But there was a G-Rank look beforehand that for some reason they didn't pick there. But I think in Iceborne, it's the proper G-Rank look for the monster's armor. Let's start there. Yeah, that is the more classic G-Rank style look. So, Critical Draw, Part Breaker, Ice Attack, Quick Sheath, Max Might, Critical Eye. I'm kind of thinking maybe Great Sword and Hammer. Because, like, the Critical Draw is usually something that Great Sword uses a lot because of the try to get the charge in fast. It doesn't have the focus, though, which I don't know if helps or not. Everything Could even be a bow set. Although the maximum might makes me think maybe not because of, uh, like, when drawn you're taking your stamina, so max might wouldn't croc. Hard to say, but I do like the look and it's nice to see it back. As for weapons... I don't think there's anything that new in look department. Oh, right, there is the Kimura Crossbow Warrior Plus, though. And that, it doesn't quite have as much damage as what we've got, but it does have the slicing capacity to it. So you know what, I think I'm going to upgrade, get this... Oh, jeez, yeah, might as well just go for... Might as well go for that, because we have 126 of the things. I just want to make sure it does... Okay, it has that. Ah, do, do, do decorations... I'm trying to think of what that... No, that was already in the set. I think. I'm actually not sure where. Okay, so what are we missing? We need the crit boost... in. Yeah, we need crit boost. Um, Recoil down, I think that's... Yeah, that was one that was on there. And we'll take that one. I should check and see what other decorations were on the Flamin' Conan. I think it... Where were you? There. Uh, da, da, da. I thought there was a way to see, like, in this what that is. I feel like it is just the crit boost it has on, though. So I think we're pretty much geared up where I want to be with that. And let me go through and look at the proper Barrio Flight Bowgun. And yeah, I did kind of stop that early just because we could get that one going again. Bone Tree. There we go. Um, It gains Pierce 1 Rapid Fire, I think? Did it have before? It did have before, okay. It does have the Piercing Ice Rapid Fire, though, so it does at least have something else to it, uh... Probably your best looking, maybe your best looking, uh, Ice Elemental Light Bowgun. Though the Goss Rag up above, when we unlock, might be better, because that one doesn't rely on the Piercing Frost. From the comments, Piercing now operates with the bullet speed for how much it procs, which I don't really like. Because it does feel like it should proc more on certain monsters because of their size, but it still doesn't. It's just kind of weird. And I think there was a heavy bowgun for Baryoth, too, right? Yeah, there was. I think you get it in high rank, though. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and that one is... Wow, actually, really good pierce capacity. 8, 7, and 6. Piercing Ice does have 6. And does have 20% affinity built in. So that's not too bad for a bo heavy bowgun, either. Some interesting things, but I'm going to go back to this classic and see what we can do with it. It just performs so well earlier, and now that it has a little bit more of an attack boost from its previous incarnation, it should help us out quite a bit. And let me just stock us up ammo-wise, and then we will end this episode with that. Hey Next episode, we're going to go for another Great frosty choice. monster, and it's going to be the uh, go. Gossarag. I'm curious job. to see how it's going to be. Okay. Here you go. 
It kind of makes me think not that much has been changed on him if he's at the same level that uh, Barioth was. But on the same token, we also can't scoff at just like how brutal Barioth could be. So it'll be interesting to hunt him down and see what he's like. But for now, we are very good to end this episode. Oh, almost. I think there's one more thing I gotta do. Yeah, these guys got some more stuff for us. Okay, so we'll just take all that, send them back out to... Uh, do, 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 do. I'm kind of leaning... You know, let's send them here because there are two rare ones on that. Yeah, you guys go there. Argosy, anything rare? Ah, Lock Black Core will take. No other special goods. Yeah, so now we are all set to end this episode off. Just squeeze in what I can here or there. So, thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. If you enjoyed the video, you should give it a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to in the comments right down below. Until I do see you in the next video or episode, though, hunters and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.